We've got Rebecca versus Jennifer. Rebecca up on the fence. Jennifer down, just keeping a watchful eye on her. So, the finals, like the rest of the races, will run over two laps. The next time around, these two girls will be coming around to get the bell. They've raced well. Each has uh, picked up a win for the day. Rebecca, just slightly out qualifying Jennifer. 16.178 versus the 16.345, so they're close. They've been close all day. With uh, two second places and a victory each, it's been some good hard racing. So Jennifer just putting some speed on. Rebecca just keeping a watchful eye on her. Coming around to get the bell. The bell rings and uh, like a loud noise, the two girls jump in unison. Rebecca's got quite a gap now on Jennifer. Jennifer's got a dig deep if she wants to take home some prize money. Because Rebecca's got the victory in her sights. She's out to almost a 20 metre gap now. She comes into turn three. She can probably shut this one down and uh, put her hand up in the air to salute the crowd. Take a nice third place overall in, uh, in D grade today. So well done to both of these two girls. Jane's leading this one out in the blue and yellow. And Rachel above her on top of the track. I'd describe her colours but I'm colour blind. Jane just keeping a watchful eye on Rachel. Rachel's had a good day. She's had three victories, beating all three of her opponents today. Jane's had uh, her win in two second places. And relatively close in qualifying. Just two tenths of a second separated these two. And Jane doing a really good job of Holding Rachel up, keeping her up nice and high, just making sure that uh, Rachel doesn't have an avenue to get in underneath her and take the lane. So no speed on just yet. I'll come around and, uh, and take the bell for one to go. So Jane's made a jump, she's thrown in the jump, she's out of the saddle, pushing the power into those pedals, stomping hard on those pedals. Rachel's pulled up alongside her. So will she try the Neil Robinson break and run or she's just got too much horsepower, she just breezes by and takes the lane. She's drawing away now, she's got a best part of a 10 metre gap now. She comes into turn three and I think, uh, I think Jane might have sat up a little bit there and Rachel's going to run away with a nice comfortable victory there. So congratulations to Rachel, the winner in D grade to... Are you commentating? Come on, it started already. For the final uh, three, versus, three versus four in C grade. We've got uh, Dave Thomas, who qualified at the bottom of C grade, but uh, like I mentioned earlier, races a little bit quicker than what he qualifies. And he's had three victories for the day. So he's had to, to come from the bottom of qualification, but he's battled hard, raced well all day today, and he's got, uh, got three victories. And we've got Gabrielle, one of the, uh, the ladies' development girls, I think, from Brunswick, who's also raced really well today. All of them have. She qualified in third, so it was quite a bit quicker than, uh, than Dave in qualifying. Best part of half a second quicker than Dave in qualifying. Dave's probably raced the better today. So one of these two will be going home with some money in their pocket. I'm only warning for Dave. I've left the underwear. You could have told me to turn the microphone oh, off. Sorry. You know, everybody in Vermont heard that. A little bit of a theme developing in these finals so far. There hasn't been a lot of pace on early in the races. And the, uh, generally the rider with the bigger jumps has been the rider who's come away with the victory. Dave's got a, a great big diesel engine. 
it takes him a little bit to wind it up, but uh, I'm told he's a former time trialist, so he can, can hold his speed relatively well. Gabrielle now just throwing in a track stand, so I think she wants Dave to lead this one out. Dave seems a bit too clever for that. So the bell's, the bell's rung, there's one to go and there's still no pace on. James Dan's only got 10 minutes of recording left, so guys, I need you to get your skates on. <laughs> Eight and uh, a half. We might miss the A grade finals. And Gabrielle now throws in a jump, and she's given, uh, given Dave a bit of a gap. But Dave's got his work cut out for him. He's got a, a 10 metre gap that he's got to close down in the last 200 metres. So out of the saddle, winding that gear up. He looks like he's on a bigger gear than Gabrielle. But, uh, the question is, is can he get around this? This bend in good shape, but I have a feeling here that Gabrielle may just hold on. Both of the riders out of the saddle, and yeah, look like Gabrielle just out to the okay. uh, their C grade, sorry, and has come to undefeated. And Johnny Star Trek Lewis, who must have bent the space time continuum during his qualification, he's come in in second place in qualifying and also undefeated. So both of these guys have raced really well today. This is obviously the first time they've met today. And unlike every other final, we've actually got a little bit of speed on. Ben's at the top of the track with the disc wheel. Johnny Lewis just underneath him in the black and white skin suit. Coming around now with one to go. Ben's got height. John just coming down to defend the lane a little bit. He's not giving Ben any room. But Ben's been quick all day. Ben has been able to chase down riders. He successfully chased down... A big gap to Merv Tracy in the first one. He's doing his best to uh, to get over the top now, Johnny Lewis. And I think he might just do it. So come now out of turn four. I think Ben's got a nice, comfortable lead. And he wins by the best part of five metres. So well done. It's actually first place. First. Oh, Johnny Lewis just been a mainstay of these races for a number of years, well before my time races and rides just about anything he can get his hands on from what I'm told. He's a bit lighter in the hip pocket since his uh, son James decided to go on a kamikaze mission and put a relatively new BT into the fence at Adelaide. Yeah, so his power to weight ratio is probably a little bit better this, <laughs> time, this round rather than last round. Yeah. Jared Wilson been training hard with us all winter. This one, just like the one before, the pace is nice and high. Chris is obviously riding a nice big gear, so it suits Chris. Not Chris jumping. Jared trying a... Uh... Far too much gap. Jared trying a break and run. He's reeled him in, though. We didn't, I didn't oh. think he'd get him. He's reeled him in. He's taken some height. Jared oh, might just wow. get this on over the top. Too close to call from up here, but Lisa's called it. Jared Wilson. So now we've got uh, the two big gorillas out on the track, fighting for the, the big dollars in B grade, first versus second, the old master Carl Brewer, the man with more tricks than David Copperfield, and of course Dave who relatively new on the scene, but uh, he's very vocal, loves to be involved, and uh, definitely isn't shy. Both of these two have raced really well. David chasing down Jared in one of the earlier races. It was a very good chase down. But Carl's a wily old fox. One of the smartest bike riders there is out there. He's carrying a bit of an injury. In true style, he sounds a bit like Thomas the Tank Engine when he jumps. Yeah. Oh, oh. Down the back straight, Dave might have his measure here. Dave's got a lot more speed than him. Carl tries to uh, do a bit of a crisscross, but I think Dave might just take the dollars here in B grade. Oh, hey, that was close. on the line, but I think Dave just got it from Carl. A great chase in grade today. Well, this will be a good race. So the A grade finals. Of course, uh, I think you'll all agree the top five in A grade race spectacularly today. Any of those five could have made a final today. The third versus fourth, we've got uh, young David versus... 
Oh, Neil? He's actually three months younger than me, but in this in this race he could be old Neil. David probably riding an 88, 90 inch gear. Neil probably riding 98, 96. I'm just being told. Come on down. Bit of misinformation being spread about Neil's gear. I think. Drop it. David doing Drop uh, it. a move that he's done a couple of times today. Obviously, did it very successfully on me. Now he's pushing Neil up the track for the horse in hook and drop. He's got a nice little gap here. Neil's got a lot of speed. But David's also very quick, very close between these two in qualifying. Only about uh, a couple of hundredths of a second out, I think. Neil chasing hard. Neil really wants that prize money. But uh, I think from looking up here, it looks as though David might have just held on on the line. Try and get up here before Neil does, because once Neil's up here, there won't be any left. Now we've got uh, one versus two in A grade. And I think everyone will agree both of these two boys have raced really, really well today. Get in front of him, Stephen. The Connor Christie, all the way from tropical Queensland. That's how high a regard this series is held in. And Stephen Elu, all the way from Ballin. So not quite as tropical as uh, southeast Queensland, but nonetheless. Stephen training with the Vic Development Sprint Group of Reliably Informed. And uh, Connor, Connor training with, uh, I think from the look of his skin suit, the Queensland Academy of Sport, just coming off a, a successful racing at the Oceanas. But David's giving Connor a bit of a gap to work into. David's got a lot of speed today. A lot of speed, bit of a tricky moment down there on the back straight. It's hard for David working into that window down the back straight. He's a lot taller, sits up in the wind a lot more. And I think, uh, yeah, David set up, uh, not David, sorry, Stephen set up. Connor takes the victory. 